There's a bunch of ways to solve systems of equations, and what that means is like, you know, y equals 2x plus 5, and, you know, 2x plus 3y equals 9. A system of equations means two equations, two variables. And by the way, since we're having a nerd discussion, the number of variables you have, in order to solve for them, you have to have that many equations. So if you have two variables, x and y, you have to have two equations to solve for it. If you had three variables, x, y, and z, you would need three equations. I was just a little aside. I was just a little freebie. But solving systems of equations uh, using the graphing method is what I'm going to teach you right now is essentially that. What people always forget is that when you solve a system of equations, you're going to get an x and a y, which essentially is a point, right? It's, a, it's a, an x and a y on the, on the coordinate system. Coordinate plane is a point. So whenever you have two linear equations and they ask you to solve the system of equations, graphically what that means is, let's say you graphed uh, this point, And I was like, oh, there, I graphed my line. Cool. Uh, and then I graph my other line, right? Oh, there's my two lines that they gave me. The, the solution to that system would be a point with an x and a y. Okay, that's all you do. So for the graphing method, if you have graph paper and you use a ruler, you'll graph both and exactly where they cross would be your answer. And you can find that little box and you would say, oh, like in this case, you know, maybe, oh, it looks like 3, negative 1 is my solution. You do need graph paper, and I don't have graph paper magically hovering in air. And I know there's probably some tech kids out there that could do that for me. Make a comment in the box. We'll talk. But so, but you're going to graph these on graph paper and get the solution. The one thing that's weird about systems of equations is there's three possible outcomes. Okay, so you could get, you could graph two lines like we just did. Oh, there's my two lines. You could get one solution which is very common, right? I did it and I got the answer. So I have one solution, an X and a Y. What's weird is you could also graph it and only to find out that they're actually exactly parallel, right? And here's a good question. When do two parallel lines cross? The answer is never. So if you graph two parallel lines, you'll find that there's actually no solution, okay? And then the other one that's even weirder than that by far is that if you graph a line like this, and then you go to the second line in your little system of equations, and it ends up being the same line, which is actually possible. Then the answer is infinite number of solutions, which is, I get it, it's weird. So in this kind of like section of your math world, you should get either one solution if they cross, you should get no solutions if they're parallel, and you should get infinite number of solutions if they're the same line. I'll give you some examples of each, and you'll be mind blown. And I'm sure I'll get a thank you in the commentary at the bottom because of the enlightenment being offered here today. Okay, so what if they're like, okay, so here's a system, y equals 2x plus 1, y equals negative 2x plus 1. And you just look at this and you're really good at graphing and you say, oh, I remember from Ryan's other nerd videos that uh, to graph this top one, I go to the y-intercept, which is positive 1, make a point. Then from there, my slope, which is always a fraction, is 2 over 1. Up 2 over 1. Okay, that's easy. Up 2 over 1. Looks like it's about there. Now I'm going to graph the second guy. Oh, weird. Same y-intercept. Go up 1. Same point. Slope is now negative 2 over 1, so I'll go down 2 over 1. I can totally see my solution. I see where they cross. In this case, the answer would be 0, 1. They definitely cross at 0, 1. And how many solutions are there? There's one. There's one answer. That's right there. I can totally graphically see it. So that would be like a normal case, right? Now let's do one, and I hate to like ruin the ending already, but this one's going to be a little less normal. What if they said, okay, find the solution to this system. Y equals two-thirds X plus one. Y equals two-thirds X plus five. I already am suspicious because I'm a nerd, and I see that the, the slopes are the same, which like, you know, red red alarm, red light, I know that when they have the same slopes, they're kind of parallel. This one, go up one, put a point, rise over run, up two over three, up two over three. There's my first line. Second one, up five, one, two, three, four, five, up two over three. It looks like up two over three, right? Same slope. So when are these going to cross? These guys are parallel. They'll never cross. So the answer is no solution. That dramatic and exciting. 
happens a lot. If they're parallel and you graph them, the answer to that system is there isn't one. No solution. Okay, now is the weird one where you're like, how could it possibly be the same line? Let me give you a little hint, okay? If you had the same line like this, if you had y equals like 4x plus 2, all right, and you're going to graph that, everything's going to be cool. They might do something like this. They might have 2y equals 8x plus 4, and they say graph them both. And you're like, okay, I got this, right? First one, up 2, 1, 2. And then my slope is up 4 over 1, 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. There you go, perfect. This one is not ready to be graphed. I have to get this into uh, slope intercept form. So to get y alone, I'll divide everybody by 2, right? Oh, 2, 2, 2. y equals, wait a minute, it's the same line. So now if I graph this up to, it would be on top of the other line. So when the two linear equations are identical, they don't look like it at first glance. Like at first glance, it didn't say, hey, you know, these are totally identical. But after you manipulate them, they will be. If this happens, the, num the answer is not like an answer. It is infinite number of solutions, of solutions. And that's it. So these are systems of equations. And remember, there's, a, there's other ways to do it. Substitution, you can do the addition method, the elimination method. This is the graphing method. Honestly, I hate to be negative Nancy, but this is the least accurate method because there's just so much room for error when you graph it. Does it cross exactly at a point? What if, you know, it's, uh, it's not a whole number? So it's a cool way to visually understand what the solution is to systems of equations. But my advice to you, young Jedi, is on a real test or real quiz, yeah, do it graphically, but then confirm it using one of the other methods, addition, subtraction, whatever uh, a method that I'll teach you in the other videos. So that's it. And remember, if you're struggling at your local high school, you can take this online at Silicon Valley High School, pass it there, and the credits will be transferred back to your school.